What up, guys? MA checking back in. Um, you know the drill. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram, Twitter at uh, MA underscore the artist. Um, and then uh, War Games, ABG, that's Instagram and Twitter. All right, so let's get into it. So uh, um, I'm going to make it the review uh, two, two reviews. So the last episode and this episode of Dragon Ball uh, Super. All right, so the last episode, I really didn't want to do it only because I felt like it was a super and they trying to just um, string the episode. I mean, super. It feels like it was a um, filler, excuse me. And they were just stringing the episodes along. Um, I, I, I didn't really think that it needed to be them two to fight uh, Vegeta. But um, I guess they, you know, just wanted to... Uh, build depth with um, uh, uh, Kel and Ka- uh, Khalifa as characters, but um, I mean I don't I don't think they're that dynamic. We don't know too much uh, about them like that. That's that the the story for them should have been built like a couple weeks beforehand. Uh, to me personally, all right. But, well, episodes like they need their, their own episodes to just throw them in because it's like the. Uh, Frieza, for example, you know, you know everything about him. He's just not throwing in to be this magical character. And it was like if they was gonna just throw him in, they should have did him like they did the the fucking heart chicks. Those chicks were whack as fuck to me. But the the bitches with love and all of that shit, um, Ruby Rubyanna and all of that, that shit is fucking corny to me, uh, to me personally. And um, they shit did it like that, where they showed them just real bit and fucking knocked them the fuck off the cliff, cause they're not that important. But I guess in the case of uh, Khalifa and Kel, uh, because they're Saiyans, I mean they are important because, I mean the whole thing is about the Saiyan race any goddamn way. So with that being said, um, let's go to the next episode, um, cause that episode to me was just a filler, and it was just like, oh, um, Goku was just training them to get better, uh, to pretty much keep the same race alive similar to what um vegeta did um with kaba all right so on this next episode i thought this episode was pretty cool um but disappointing at the same time because goku clearly the whole episode was giving him the business uh showing what he's known to do once he went uh super saiyan god it was just pretty much a wrap for them and they couldn't keep up which should should have been the case Period. Either even as a regular saying, because you gotta think these these two girls are, yeah. I mean, I like them. They're cool. They're cool characters. But Goku's been training and fighting people for years. Like them two not beating uh, uh, Kid Buu. Period. Like them two are not beating Kid Buu. But Goku um, and Vegeta, them two were able to beat Kid Buu together. Yeah, they was gonna ass kick, but really they didn't have to do go like to they didn't have a god or anything like that and they made it work and for goku to have to go to god just to handle them too i just thought it was a little a little disappointing that it's it's really not about martial artists anymore it's more about um your power scale in the sense um but you know that was that's i guess that's fine i'm not the right out on the show but um so he was beating him beating him beating him beating him um, and then we get to the end of the episode, and then they finally uh, have something up their sleeve, which is the Pator earrings, and they fuse, which I thought was actually pretty dope. But I rather have seen Vegeta and Goku fuse, and I hope that's still the case, because I'm sure a lot of you like me are like, why the fuck ain't Goku and Vegeta fuse? Because that's the only way they're clearly gonna win the tournament, unless. Vegeta got some type of uh, Ultra Instinct up his sleeve that we don't know about. Um, but he, and I think he may because um, I make another video about that going into that. But um, back to the episode. Um, seeing the fuse is pretty cool. And it was interesting to see while Jerem was uh, meditating that them fusing kind of like made him tick a little bit. He just ticked a little bit. And um, it's like, oh, okay, somebody else is here now out of the blue that wasn't here. So it's interesting to see, you know, maybe they, um, clearly they haven't had any God training, so they're definitely not going to get that. But seeing maybe them go legendary um, with, with, with 
that fusion. That'll be interesting to see. Um, so the next episode is going to be really dope. I kept it short because, as we know, the episode was really plain and simple. I mean, they fought, fought, fought. Um, um, felt like I felt like Goku was training them um, just to pretty much keep the same race alive. Because when they, well, because Universe 7 is clearly going to win. And when they do win, they're going to bring back 6. And then there's probably going to be a whole other story about the Universe 6 and yada, yada. But... You know, we never know. And I'll probably have a possible video about that. So tell me what you think about the episode. Do you think uh, Goku and Vegeta should have fused instead? They should have had maybe the fusion dance or maybe the Patori rings? Or do you like the fusion uh, fusion with uh, um, Kel and Khalifa? Um, I like both. I mean, I hopefully both happens. And we'll see what happens, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, follow me on Instagram. Twitter at MA underscore to the artist and at War Games ABG. Thanks, guys. See you later.